respiration in organisms introduction all living things take in food the energy required for various activities is provided by this food the process by which energy is released from the food that is taken in is termed as respiration process of respiration respiration is a complex process involving two steps these are external respiration and internal respiration these two processes are common for all living organisms whether plants or animals whatever food we eat is digested in our body this digested food is then oxidized by our body and energy is released this process of taking oxygen into the cell using it for energy release aerobic and anaerobic respiration the process of breaking down of food by the help of oxygen to release energy is termed as respiration however food can also be broken down without oxygen when oxygen is involved in breaking down of the food it is called aerobic respiration when oxygen is not involved it is called anaerobic respiration there are a few substances like yeast which can survive without oxygen such substances are called anaerobic they derive energy through anaerobic respiration in the absence of oxygen glucose generally breaks down to form alcohol reaction for aerobic and anaerobic respiration glucose with oxygen gives rise to carbon dioxide plus water plus energy aerobic respiration glucose without oxygen gives rise to alcohol plus carbon dioxide plus energy anaerobic respiration some cells in our body are also capable of respiring anaerobically to form lactic acid but only for a short span of time they are called the muscle cells it happens when we do vigorous exercise and muscle cells do not get enough oxygen breathing the process of taking in air rich in oxygen and giving out air rich in carbon dioxide by the help of respiratory organs like nostrils gills surface of the skin etc is termed as breathing breathing involves two steps which are inhalation and exhalation inhalation the process of taking in air rich in oxygen is inhalation exhalation the process of giving out air rich in carbon dioxide is exhalation difference between aerobic and anaerobic respiration aerobic respiration anaerobic respiration it takes place in the presence of oxygen it takes place in absence of oxygen glucose is completely oxidized to release carbon dioxide water and energy glucose is partially broken down into ethyl alcohol carbon dioxide and energy it occurs in most of the plants and animals it occurs in few organisms like yeasts and bacteria it gives more energy it gives less energy breathing rate inhalation and exhalation go one after the other and it is a continuous process a breath means one inhalation and one exhalation the number of times a person breathes in a minute is termed as the breathing rate breathing rate differs from time to time age is one of the factors affecting the breathing rate it is because different age groups have different energy requirements mechanism of breathing in human beings breathing begins with the nostrils which is the gateway of the air into our body the rich air in oxygen is taken into the body through the nostrils this air contains dust and other foreign particles too the inner lining of the nose is constantly secreting mucus which traps these dust particles the hair present in inner lining also help in trapping the dust in this process air becomes warm this air is now comparatively warm moist and clean it reaches a small tube called pharynx from there it goes into trachea or windpipe the trachea then branches into two thin tubes called bronchi which leads into the lungs larynx which is the voice box is situated between the pharynx and trachea larynx is a small air passage formed by cartilage two folds of tissues present in it produce the sound inside the lungs each bronchus divides into smaller tubes called bronchioles 
air on passing through the bronchioles reaches tiny sacs called alveoli singular alveolus each alveolus is surrounded by millions of tiny blood vessels the oxygen from the alveolus enters the blood through these blood vessels the oxygen present in the air combines with the hemoglobin present in the blood to form oxyhemoglobin which is carried to all the cells of the body the same process is followed for carrying away the carbon dioxide from the body during inhalation the lungs which are present inside the chest cavity expand and push down the diaphragm which is a dome shaped muscular sheet present at the base of the chest cavity the reverse process takes place during exhalation the chest cavity contracts and the diaphragm is pulled up to know the mechanism of breathing take a transparent plastic bottle and cut off its bottom make a hole through the cap pass a straw through the hole and attach a balloon to the end inside the bottle fix the straw to the cap using plasticine stretch a balloon rubber sheet across the cut end of the bottle the setup apparatus is ready now pull the rubber sheet down the balloon attached to the straw gets filled up with air now push the balloon up the balloon attached to the straw gets deflated this shows the mechanism of breathing composition of exhaled air the air that we breathe out contains carbon dioxide and water vapor the exhaled air contains only 0.04% carbon dioxide while the exhaled air contains 4.4% carbon dioxide now let us perform two simple activities to know the contents of exhaled air stand in front of the mirror and exhale we can observe that the glass becomes misty this shows that water vapor is present in the exhaled air take some lime water calcium hydroxide in a glass blow air into it through a straw we can observe that the lime water turns milky when calcium hydroxide combines with carbon dioxide to form calcium carbonate thus It is clear that exhaled air contains carbon dioxide. The air around us has various types of unwanted particles like smoke, dust, etc. During inhalation, these particles get trapped in the hair present in our nasal cavity. Sometimes they get past the hair in the nasal cavity. Then they irritate the lining of the cavity as a result of which we sneeze. Sneezing expels these foreign particles from the inhaled air and a dust-free clean air enters our body. We can perform two activities to know about composition of air. Respiration in other organisms. Different animals respire through different organs or body parts of their body through cell membrane. Unicellular organisms like amoeba, paramecium take in oxygen and give out carbon dioxide through their general body surface. through moist skin organisms like earthworms leeches and frogs respire through their moist skin although frogs use lungs for respiration on land but oxygen is also diffused through their moist skin when they are in water their skin has rich vascular supply through gills most aquatic animals use gills for breathing they resemble the teeth of a comb the water enters the mouth and flows over the gills which takes in oxygen dissolved in water through air holes and spiracles insects like cockroach breathe through the fine holes present on the side of their body these holes are called spiracles the air enters the body through these holes reaches the cells through a fine network of thin tubes called trachea or breathing tubes respiration in plants like all other living organisms plants also respire leaves have tiny pores called stomata on their lower surface the air can easily enter through these pores plants also have tiny opening called lenticels on their stem and roots for the purpose of breathing stomata traps air and the exchange of gases takes place inside the plant cell the opening and closing of stomata is brought through by the expansion and contraction of gut cells Gut cells expand and contract due to the flow of water in and out of the cell.